before we install the print head on the machine to connect print head cable we must power off the machine first it's very important if you connect print head on the machine and the machine is power on so it will short the print head and the electronic system so we must power off the machine before we install the print head and we take out the general power plug then we can start to install the print head okay, when we go to the carriage we can find two pallet for install print head the left is for wet and varnish print head and the right is for color print head so after we install the ring fast ring then we connect print head the print head must be installed by this way by this way with coat at the front and with cover at the back like this way so when we go to the print head we can find out it have a left port this is the left port and right port so also the cable we find out the cable with left right and right right R1 so R1 connect by right and L1 left right installed here so first we install the left right that means L1 and we find out the pin we must be sure the pin is flat and without damage clean and not scratch so once it gets dirty you need to use the eraser to wipe, her, wipe the surface before install. Then we're going to install the cable to the left side print head. Like this way. We must uh, install with flight, but not angle, but this way. If by this way, you damage the cable. We install by this way and make the flight and check it's loosen a lot, it's fastened. Then we are gonna to install the right cable for white. So we find out the cable name, the right white R1. We install by this way. Also check the pin first. Then we connect cable to the print head with flight and no loosen or damage. Then we put print head on the left port and first we fasten the screw by the first one but not too much a half then we go to the anchor position we go to this posi position not too much a half not too tighten then we go to the red bottom and we go to the last one, the left top. So we must install the screw by the ankle position. Then we go to go back the first one to fasten. By ankle way to fasten. The screw cannot tighten too much. If you tighten too much, if you damage the print head. But also cannot to loosen. If you to loosen the faster ring, we cannot connect and to cause the pump without in coming out to get the leaking air. Then we go to install the white, the color print head, but the same way. The color print head is must be installed on the right side of the carriage. So we find out, we check the ring is installed, the fast black rubber ring installed. Then we also find out the L2, 2 means color print head. So left color. We connect also first remove the tab. And we check the pin is clean without damage and dust. We connect the cable 
to the print head and no flight and fasten. And also then we find out the red color two, R2. Remove the tab. And we connect the cable to the right side of the print head. Be sure it's flight and not damage is flight, connect where, not loosen or connect, loosen is, is fast enough and connect like this, the pin outside. So it's left two and right two. Then we find out the carriage and we install the print head on the right side of the carriage. We install print head by same flow. First, we lock the left button, then right top, a half, not too tighten, then right button and left the top, a half. Then we go back to loosen, uh, to fasten for everyone. To be sure the print head is flat and not loosen. Okay, so this is the procedure to install the white print head and the color print head. So please pay attention to that is L1 and R1, L2, R2. And the print head installed with the coat at the front, the cover at the back side. And be sure the print head cable is clean and without damage before we install print head. So after we install print head, we can start to load the ink and test print. Thank you.